What's up, guys? Migs here with Market Open. Uh, done here in an under, oh, about an hour here. Uh, up three hundred sixty-four dollars. All green trades. Uh, although I did have one bad trade on eBay, uh, but I went back and basically doubled down on the position on a on a really good pattern, and I got out when I was supposed to. The market started pulling back. So let me walk you guys through those real fast. Uh, my first trade on was on Facebook. It was on the one minute chart here. So one minute chart. So I'll show you guys as I saw it. So basically ORB pattern over the over the whole number, uh, set my stop pretty low, so it was a relatively um, small amount of shares. So I bought it over 190. As you can see on here, it's just it keeps holding to the highs. And so the entry should have been here at 190-ish, or 189.90, but I decided to get in over the whole number and just set my stop all the way down here. So I was risking about uh, $1.40 or so. And so with that, uh, I took 100 shares, took it long. Uh, my target was actually 192, um, but since it started pulling back a lot, so right here in this area, right here it just kind of kept hitting it pulled back really hard and it kept hitting 191 and it didn't want to go through so right here it actually pulled all the way back to 189.50 but remember my stop is down here and so then I said okay if it gets around the 191 area or I'm gonna wait for it to try and break through and if it doesn't hold then I'm getting out so as it came back through the 191 it hit and it didn't break it pulled back again but if you notice, it actually pulled back higher. So now we're starting to get a little bit of a trend. So now people are starting to come in and buy it up. And so I was like, all right, well, let me just hold this and have it break through 191. Came in right at 191 and broke it right here. Very next candle didn't hold. So like I said, if it doesn't hold, I'm gonna get out. So I got out right at 191.04. First trade, 104 bucks. Um, held it for about 30 minutes. Now, second trade was on eBay. I believe this was the loss. Let's see here. This was at 934 as well. Let's see here. I think I got in eBay 934. Yeah, so right here. So right here in this candle, right over 46. Basically, same thing. It's holding, it's holding to the highs. But as you can see, it actually pulled all the way back. My stop, I believe, was 40, yeah, it was actually 45.50. I got kicked out at 45.45. So you can see it pulled all the way back here. It didn't really quite hold. So it barely just kicked me out. So as you can see, the low of this candle is right at 45.45. So I got, of course, I got kicked out right at the bottom. And then it started climbing back up over 46. So I took note of that. Uh, eBay was actually gapping up this morning. It was one of my main candidates uh, for long. So it had a relatively clean chart. And by clean chart, I mean it's any support or resistance is basically down here. It's just a floating candle way up here. So I took note of that, um, and I put it on one of my other charts, and I put it on basically just waiting for a pullback to get in. So that's exactly what I, I waited on. So if you move over here, um, I'll walk you guys through the other eBay trade. I'll just skip around a little bit right there. Walking through the other eBay trade. I noticed that it was actually starting to curl up. Hold on, that candle is very annoying. There we go. All right, so as you can see, it's starting to curl up. So here, and it's starting to curl back up. The nine's coming up under it to support it. So I got in right here at 4607. My entry with 600 shares. Everything looked perfect. It had a clean daily chart. Um, it was curling up, 9 was under it, VWAP was under it, so I doubled down on it. Um, 46.07 was my entry. Now, right around here in this area, I held it all the way up here. My target was actually uh, 46, anything over 46.60, but during this time right here, the market actually started turning around, and it started breaking down under the 9 and under VWAP. So it had closed the gap, so I was thinking it was actually probably going to come back down to the low side. And so instead of just giving up all my profits, I just took the, I believe it was like a hundred and hundred eighty dollars first. No, might have even have been more because I lost a hundred and ten on the first one, and then so I recouped all of that. Yeah, so somewhere around a hundred eighty, hundred ninety. 
yeah, so somewhere around there, and I uh, ended up with that's how I ended up with seventy eight dollars. Now let's see, my next trade was on MTOR. Basically, exactly the same pattern. This was on the watch list this morning for continuation. So what I did is I waited for the pullback, saw it come up, saw the nine and VWAP right under it for support. Entry was right here at twenty eight fifty four. I got in, I got filled 500 shares. I was risking about 20 cents. Yep, I was risking about 20 cents. Got a, got in right here at 28.58. Uh, got out at 28.89, and then got rid of the rest. Let's see here. TUR 400 and 100. Yep, got rid of the rest. Right, uh, right below 29. It didn't, it didn't want to hold. So it went up and it came back down. So I just got rid of the, the shares. So as you can see, now it's actually starting to pull back. And then let's see here. TOR. I took a Facebook trade in between there, I believe. Did I? No, that's when I got rid of Facebook. Uh, all right. So eBay, QRBO. Yeah, so QRVO right here, exactly the same thing. So you guys will notice that this is a reoccurring thing. So this morning, the market was on its way up. So 80% of the stocks that you're going to be watching are most likely going to do exactly the same thing, unless they're gapping down on some sort of catalyst. So take that into account and make sure that you know that you're going to go long, go with the market. It gives you a better chance of succeeding. So just exactly as I did with all the other ones, just as I did with eBay, uh, MTOR, I waited for it to pull up. I pulled back right here back to the 9 and VWAP. Uh, I went 100 shares long right at 82.50. I missed my initial entry here at uh, 82.30. What is it? What's the high of this candle? High of this candle is uh, 82.30. I missed the initial entry, but I noticed that this down here was about a dollar away. So that's why I bought 100 shares of QRVO. Um, so then my my target was anything above 84 and but then again the market started actually pulling back kind of gave me a little fake out I'll show you guys what I was talking about actually hold on a second QRVO and then I'll put the spy down here for you guys so you guys know what I'm talking about so right here is yesterday's close a lot of the times the market will go up touch uh, the close to close the gap and then start heading in the other direction so now as you can see Big red candle, it, it basically closed the gap, big red candle, and then it starts heading lower. So my guess is that these, or this is going to break the low and it's going to start going a little bit lower. If not, it's just going to rebound and start going higher. But when it breaks down below the 9 in VWAP, that kind of gives me a clear sign that the market's uh, doing a turnaround. And I should probably start thinking of uh, exiting some of my positions if, if uh, I have a lot of shares in them. So that's what I went ahead and did. Um, I got out at 82.62. Uh, when it pulled back way over here, so when did I get out? QR. I got out at 10:30, so right, right here in this candle. So I waited for it to pull back up, and I just got out because it started going sideways. When it hit almost 84, it sold off. So that's not a that's not a good sign. Although it might curl back up and finish, I just knew that the market is just it's not favoring me right now. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna get out. Um, so yeah, so I'm up $364 on the day, all green trades, except for that, that one loss on eBay, but I made it back. Oh, look at QRVO go now. Of course he wants to go now that I'm out of the market. So I'm not going to take that trade, obviously. Um, try to stay disciplined every single day. Um, like I always tell you guys, if uh, you guys have not joined our Facebook group, make sure to do that. Uh, the link is down in the description. And if you guys have any questions, always make sure to leave it down in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer them. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.